Hey everyone, so here I'm doing exercise 7.2 of a class 6. This is from fraction chapter. So the question here is draw a number line and locate the points on them. So they have given three questions. I'm going to start with the first one. So if you look at the first question here, the denominator is 4 and all the fraction given to us are proper fraction. So proper fraction means the numerator will be less than denominator and they always lie between 0 and 1 okay this is the one thing you should remember proper fraction always lie between 0 and 1 and what are proper fraction the fraction with uh, which has a numerator less than denominator so here what i'm going to do since i know that it, this will lie between 0 and 1 and you have to look at the denominator here denominator for the first question is 4 okay I'll tell you why this is what is this 1 upon 2 later by solving this question here denominator is 4 means I have to divide 0 and 1 into 4 equal parts okay so this is 0 this is 1 equal part then 2 3 and 4 okay this is my 1 here now when you're dividing this you have to calculate the parts here equal parts this is 1 2 3 and 4 don't count the lines this what you draw okay, just count the equal parts that's it all right now let's start plotting this so after doing this after 0 since I have made a 4 equal parts the first one will be 1 upon 4 okay second will be 2 upon 4 this will be 3 upon 4 and the next which I have written 1 will be actually 4 upon 4 okay we know that 4 upon 4 is nothing but 1 you can cancel 4 and 4 you will get 1 so you can write either 4 upon 4 or you can write 1 both are same now here if you observe this 1 upon sorry not 1 upon 2 upon 4 is nothing but 1 upon 2 if I cancel this 2 and 4 this is 2 1s are and then 2 2s are I'll get 1 upon 2 which is nothing but the first number I got so 1 upon 2 is nothing but 2 upon 4 here okay so we have plotted all the numbers on the number line for the first question it is done now we'll go with the second one now in the second one if you observe look at the denominator denominator the number is 8 means we have to divide between 0 and 1 8 equal parts now this is a proper fraction yes you can see the numerator we have 1 2 3 and 7 they all are less than 8 yeah numerator is less than 8 this means they are proper fraction and they lie between 0 and 1 so and denominator is 8 so I'm going to divide 8 equal parts between 0 and 1 so this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 Okay, this will be my 1 right now we're going to start writing the numbers the first one will be 1 upon 8 this will be 2 upon 8 this is 3 upon 8 4 upon 8 5 upon 8 6 upon 8 and then this is 7 upon 8 and the next one will be 8 upon 8 which is nothing but 1 now in the question they are asking us to plot 1 upon 8 so this will be our 1 upon 8 this point and second is 2 upon 8 which is here the next is 3 upon 8 which is here and the next is 7 upon 8 which is here okay so we have plotted all the four points here four fractions here let's move on to the next one which is a third question now in the third question if you observe we have a proper fraction we also have an improper fraction if you look at this 8 upon 5 8 is greater than 5 which means it is improper fraction and the number we're going to lie after 1 okay so but that's okay we have to look at the denominator it is 5 so between every number between 0 and 1 I have to make a 5 equal parts between 1 and 2 I have to make 5 equal parts okay it's very simple let's start solving this so this is my number line here okay so this is my 0 so since denominator is 5 I have to make a 5 equal parts right so this is 1 2 3 4 5 and this will be my 1 
the next between 1 and 2 also I have to make 5 equal parts because denominator is 5 so this will be again 1 2 3 4 and then 5 this will be 2 okay now let's start adding the number so the first one will be 1 upon 5 this is 2 upon 5 this is 3 upon 5 and then 4 upon 5 next one will be nothing but 5 upon 5 okay the next we're gonna have you can just continue 6 upon 5 then 7 upon 5 this is 8 upon 5 then 9 upon 5 the next will be 10 upon 5 now if you cancel this 10 and 5 you will get 2 5 ones are and then 5 twos are 10 you will get 2 okay so 2 can be written as 10 upon 5 also even that is correct now let's start plotting them so first number I have a 2 upon 5 which is here okay the next is 3 upon 5 which is here this is my second fraction and then we have a 8 upon 5 which is here and last is 4 upon 5 which is here okay so that's it so this is how we have to solve so it's very simple just look at the numbers if it's a proper fraction or improper fraction if it is improper the number may lie after 1 okay but make sure that you divide the equal parts based on the denominator if the number is a proper fraction it will gonna always lie between 0 and 1 so I hope it's clear now in case you have any question or doubt you can drop a comment below thank you so much for watching